and Pierre Rosenbaum for the keynote address on refractive laser trans PRK, 18 months experiences with two excimer lasers, Schwind Smart Surf and Alcon Streamlight. Welcome, sir. Yes, thank you very much for your invitation. It's a pleasure for me to be with you in India. I was uh, on uh, in August in India and I, I love this country and it's a pleasure for me to be here with you today. And uh, so I'm going to speak about uh, the experience I have uh, on TransPRK, uh, which uh, was a, a new enti uh, entity uh, 18 months ago. And at the beginning of my uh, uh, this work, uh, I worked with two lasers, Amaris Schwind and Alcon Wavelight. And so uh, ha we have about 18 months of uh, experience about that. So. Uh, the uh, first question was, uh, what is interesting in TPRK when we compare it with PRK? What, what are benefits? What are the benefits? Is there benefit in comparison with PRK, which gives very good results? Uh, epithelium manual debridement is very simple, so why to use laser? Uh, are there clinical advantages? Is it only marketing? Are we sure that eczema has completely removed epithelium? Is there specific software programs on PRK? It's uh, the first question uh, we ask ourselves be before beginning uh, this procedure. Is it useful? Uh, classical PRK <coughs> is a good technique. We know it and we know, uh, we know this technique since a very long time. There are advantages and uh, disadvantages. The disadvantages is, of course, post-operative pain during one to three days, progressive uh, visual re recovery, sometimes haze, retreatment sometimes difficult, and we have to wait a long time before retreatment. The advantages are simplicity, uh, precision, and we have less biomechanic quickening and low risk of ectasia. We have spoken, uh, you have spoken about A's origin. It, uh, it appears between one, uh, the first uh, and the third uh, month, uh, post-operator, and causes refractive regression. This, the, cause are, the causes are by epithelium, hyperplasia, by increase of refraction index, by refractive corpuscles in keratocyte, uh, and by disorganization of extracellular collagen matrix, it is favorized by cells apoptosis, which induce neocollagen 3 and typi atypical synthesis of glycosaminum lichen. It's favorized, of course, by thermal rise and by ablation over 100 micron, and also by the ablative slope. It's favorized by low healing and by infection. What are the three main advantages of TPRK? First, we have accelerated healing and visual recovery. By limiting ablation to what is strictly necessary, by smooth surface. We have less pain by accelerated healing and limitation of desepithelialization surface. We reduce the risk of ACE by acceleration of healing, by smooth surface and gradual slope, by removing uh, the damaged cells, by controlling the thermal rise of the cornea with laser delivery algorithm adapted specially to TPRK. Yes, TPRK is a new entity. We have specific pre-operative exams to do and the corneal OCT mapping is very important to have a uh, exact evaluation of the epithelial thickness. Also, there are specific algorithms for this laser, almost on the Schwind. And this algorithm take in account the heat emission, because we need more laser shoot to treat epithelium plus uh, stroma. We can have hyperopic and myopic shift related to beam spread in the peripheral. And there is also a difference in photoablation efficacy between stroma and epithelium, corneal epithelium. 
uh, the Amaris proposed a treatment in one time, a, a very long experience from Amaris, and Streamlight Alcon recommends the treatment in two times. Here you can see the corneal mapping, uh, and it's integrated to the P TPRK treatment. Everybody knows that uh, uh, epithelium is thinner in the center. What we have to consider is the volume, because uh, with laser we are going to treat epithelium plus stroma, and this equals a volume, and a total volume equals a number of shots for myopia and for hyperopia. What are the consequences of evaluation error? When we have myopia, the risk, the, the more risk is if we have under evaluation. If we are over evaluation, we have no many risk. The same for uh, hyperopia. So what we have to know is uh, we, uh, if we have the choice, if we have to do the choice, it's better to over evaluate it than to under evaluate the uh, epithelium, corneal epithelium. What are the technological uh, features of the two lasers, Amaris and Wavelight? Uh, Amaris has algorithm very really sophist sophisticated. Uh, this permit to uh, have a thermal elevation control, and this permit to treat in one phase. This, the laser I use, work at uh, 750 hertz, but we will we will have only one shot every 25 milliseconds on the same point. This limits the uh, elevation of thermal elevation uh, on the cornea, th 34 to 40 degrees. It's very important to control the, 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 the temperature, thermal elevation, uh, if we want to avoid uh, haze. If we compare with wave light, uh, uh, we have two phases, this, this laser wor work at 500 hertz, but we will have uh, one shot every 10, millise 10 milliseconds. We have more thermal elevation is the reason why we need two phases with a pause between the two phases. On the Amaris, we have a, centra a vertex centration, on wave light, a pupil centration. On Schwinn, we have uh, active cyclotorsion in uh, uh, wave light, we have passive cyclotorsion. There are no royalties by procedure on Amaris, and we have in France uh, uh, royalties for each procedure uh, on Alcon. Uh, photo the photo ablation features is different for the two lasers. In Amaris, as you have seen in the, uh, in the other communication, the profile will begin by the uh, refractive profile, and after we will ablate the volume corresponding to the uh, epithelium, and uh, it's different for uh, the wave light. Wave light will begin by epithelium ablation, like PTK, then we have, we, 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 we do a pause, and after we treat refraction. Uh, the we have to program in, sh in uh, Schwind Amaris the uh, vertex epithelium thickness, and we will have incre uh, ablation increased by 10 micron in peripheral. And uh, in the wave light, uh, we will uh, program the maximum value of mapping we find on the pre-op mapping. My protocol. I want to, uh, I do uh, refractive since very long time, and I never used uh, mitomycin. I, I think it's always surprising, but it's one of the, I'm one of the surgeon who never use mitomycin, even in TPRK. And I've no any A's, no any A's, but when I think that people are used to, uh, are used with mitomycin, and they are afraid that if they don't use mitomycin, then we, they will have a haze. So what is uh, very important in, uh, in, um, in this procedure, TPRK, is eye serum to uh, control, uh, to have a temperature control because we have more laser spot to avoid laser. I let the contact lens uh, during five days. Uh, 
it's if we want to avoid um, uh, haze, uh, we have to uh, hydration is very important. Uh, I, I use personally ipromelos uh, every hours with contact lens during five days, uh, then during four times a day during 15 days. Antibiotics is very important because uh, if we want to avoid uh, AIDS, we have to, uh, to avoid infection. So personally, I use tobramycin and norfloxacin four times a day during eight days. And also, I use the examethasone drops three times a day during the, the, the fifth, the five uh, days uh, after uh, operation. But I never use mitomycin. Uh, what uh, the visual recovery, equitable uh, recovery, and post-op pain in PRK. The pain is uh, shorter in TPRK than in PRK. Maximum is in six, between six and nine hours, then the pain decreases. Uh, at day one, foreign body sensation during, during 44, uh, 24 hours. Day two, uh, we will have epithelium healing about 50%. Day three, uh, ailing 75%. Uh, Day four, uh, ailing 100% and visual recovery 70%. And at day five, we, uh, we uh, remove a contact lens and we have a visual recovery about 90%. Uh, we treat uh, myopy between one to uh, eight dioptries with very, very good results. The same for hyperopia to uh, uh, zero to three dioptries, and also I treat uh, 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 um, uh, LASIK, uh, uh, re um, uh, retreatment of LASIK uh, 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 10 years after LASIK or 15 years after LASIK is very interesting to treat with TPIK because we avoid the risk of uh, uh, epithelial invasion, and it's very, uh, it's very, uh, we have very good results. We can see the results with uh, uh, this case. In this case, we have a treatment of minus seven, uh, uh, very good recovery, very good uh, uh, topography, and very good epithelium mapping a uh, uh, few weeks after. Uh, the same for this treatment, uh, minus 1.75 with a small astigmatism, with very good recovery. We can see, uh, I, 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 I this is a, a six months post-op on, on this patient uh, operated uh, uh, by hyperopia plus three, uh, 90 minus one. And we can see there is not any haze. Uh, if we observe, uh, we can see a small haze in the periphery and it's corresponding to the slope of the beginning, but it's very, it's perfect. And to finish, uh, you have so uh, you, you have seen a, a film, and uh, uh, I'm going to. It's very easy to treat this uh, the with this laser. It's a Schwinn, and uh, so uh, the centering is very. Uh, uh, in fact, we have to take care at the beginning of the treatment of the tears because we have to go to to be because uh, um, uh, we have a laser recovering uh, uh, laser uh, ablation uh, laser ablation so uh, the we have to go very fast at the beginning of operation to avoid to have dry eye and uh, so uh, in the same time uh, uh, we put uh, we, we begin very quickly to obtain uh, homogeneity on the surface and after it's uh, it's very easy uh, operation will take about uh, one uh, one minute and it's uh, it's finished and uh, not any problem and uh, uh, this laser uh, i'm very satisfied with the schwinn laser because it's very quick it's very easy and we have very uh, good centration and not any problem thank you very much sir, uh, lovely talk sir so your uh, choice would be uh, Schwinn.